Now, what is of most interest to respiratory therapists is trying to set PEEP or judge the effects of recruitment maneuvers and proning by using dead space. And dead space is one of the most sensitive ways that you can measure recruitment and de-recruitment. Again, because CO2 is about 20 times more diffusible than oxygen, it will pick up lung recruitment. It will also pick up lung de-recruitment. So this is a study that Gerardo Tussman did down in Argentina. And the kind of the gray area that you see towards the left of the slide is where they did the recruitment maneuver. And then they did a PEEP decrement trial and looked at the effects of alveolar dead space and shunt. And as they did the PEEP decrement trial, they keep dropping the PEEP down in twos, you can see that both shunt and dead space are relatively flat, but where the gold red arrow is pointing is when they got down to about 12 a PEEP, there was a big change in dead space that continued to go up earlier than when oxygenation began to deteriorate. So what this tells you, particularly if you're going to use the PEEP decrement trial in a very, very sick patient, rather than pushing the PEEP down to the point of de-recruitment, if you measure dead space at each of these steps, or if you measure CO2 excretion as a surrogate for pulmonary perfusion, you should be able to pick up significant changes in lung de-recruitment before the lung de-recruitment affects oxygenation. So this is an alternative way. And by the same token, if you use a PEEP incremental trial, dead space may go down earlier than oxygenation will improve. So it may give you an early sign of lung recruitment.